Hi, and welcome to Whiskey Shared. You're watching episode 37 of my Mystery Monthly Minis. I'm Toby, and you're watching Whiskey Shared. Welcome to episode 37 of my Mystery Monthly Minis. If you've seen this before and you know it works, then you can just skip straight forward to the tasting. Otherwise, the way this works is I have around 150 samples in my sample collection and my wife has picked one at random. She'll put it into this blue Glencairn glass and I'll nose it, I'll taste it, I'll tell you if I like it and I'll have a stab at what I think it is. Should we find out what I'm drinking? On to the whiskey. If you'd like to find out what's in my glass when I do, then just keep watching. Otherwise, take a look in the description now for a sneak peek. Let's start with the nose. Okay, so this is fruity, slightly synthetic, possibly red apples, reminds me of like fruity boiled sweets, a little bit of charred oak, not really getting much more though. This is really, really interesting. The fact that it's not giving much on the nose. But yeah, there is a really sugary, synthetic sweet note. Yeah. Let's move on to the palate. Right, this is interesting. It's it's definitely quite light. It's reasonably sweet. There's like caramel, vanilla, a little bit of toffee. But there's also a hint of smoke in the background. It's not very strong, slightly woody, but yeah. There's some another sip. I've no idea what this is. It's a little bit sweet, as I said. It's got a hint of smoke in there. Whether or not it's like barrel char or peat, it's really difficult to tell. But I'm not getting much more. The, the whiskey's a little thin on the palate. It's a little bit soft in terms of flavor. I would say it's potentially a low ABV whiskey, 40 to 45. I would say I'm leaning towards scotch, but yeah, I'm not getting much more. There is a hint of aniseed in there, like star anise, but yeah, really struggling with this one. Let's have one final sip. Yeah, there is a there is a slight familiarity with this. Something about it seems like I've tasted it before, or this brand or distillery. But nothing that jumps out, nothing that's nothing that's jumping out at all. It's not unpleasant, it's quite nice. It's a little one-dimensional for me. But it'd be good it'd be a good starter for an evening. But I've no idea. I think I'm gonna say scotch. No more than 45%. I I can't really give much more than that. This is really 
really difficult. Shall we find out what's in my glass? Right, so this is Tamnavulin Oloroso Cask Edition. It's 40% ABV and it was given to me by Ian Shepherd. So thanks, Ian. Um, yeah, I think I've only ever had one Tamnavulin before and I think that was a sherry cask. I don't think it was Oloroso Cask. But um, yeah, I, it's not unpleasant. It's... As far as I'm aware, it's a supermarket whiskey. It's, you know, it's not going to set the world alight, but it's not unpleasant. It's just a little one-dimensional, but it's, um, yeah. I think I think it's one of those brands that I think you just don't have enough variety out there um, to get a hold of. And the fact that they tend to be mostly... Uh, entry level supermarket blend, uh, uh, bottles. I, you know, I, th I think this is something that has probably passed me by as, you know, I think I'm a little bit too far in my journey to go and pick these up on a regular basis. But this is the sort of whiskey I would have picked up quite willingly at the start of my journey. And it's definitely. Uh, it's definitely inoffensive. It's definitely a good place to start if you enjoy whiskey, but it just, yeah, it's, it's just a little one dimensional. It just doesn't have, uh, you know, enough impact for me, but it's definitely not unpleasant. And I'm glad I got to try it because uh, it definitely tested me because I didn't get the cask, I didn't get the distillery, and. Um, I think the only thing I got was the fact it's a scotch and it's under 45%. So that's not really a win, but it's um, probably as close as I was going to get with uh, very very little, very little knowledge about this brand. So, yeah. Hopefully you found that interesting. And I'll see you again next time. Saunter. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, why not give it a like or a comment? and please consider subscribing for more videos like this.